Hello, and welcome to World of Tanks. Today, instead of warships, we'll have a look at some tanks. So I haven't really played this much in the last few months. I've only played about five games the other day. Surprisingly went well. It's normally when you take a break from these sort of games you tend to... Well, I certainly have to, terrible games. So this is all new to me, This, these bits here. Domination, I think it's just a... I don't know whether it's permanent or temporary mode. But anyway, so it's much like World of Warships. So you have your gold or doubloons in World of Warships. You have your normal credits and you have your experience. You can convert to free experience which you earn on your premium or elite tanks. Instead of a commander with the skills, you have individual crew members of different numbers, with slightly different skills. So let's go to the personnel file. So some light repairs are skills, and as soon as you select those, when you reach 100% skill at first, you can pick your first your first skill or perk. Skills activate as soon as you select them. Perks, on the other hand, have to reach 100%. So where are they? Six cents is a perk. So until that skill reaches 100% it won't actually work. So like weather warships, I think you can change these skills with gold and retrain, etc. So you've also got your equipment here. So equipment with this gold nut symbol there means it's um, complex equipment and you have to pay gold to take it off your tank. So there's only two or three which aren't like the toolbox, camouflage net, possibly others I can't recall, which you don't which you can just swap around between tanks. So let's see. Where are they? There we are. Binocular telescope. So I can just demount this without paying any gold. Just put it on another tank, or I can select it again. So here you have the ammunition, and here's consumables. So I've got repair kit, first aid kit, and a fire extinguisher on this tank. So like World of Warships, let's go to the tech tree. So we got. Chinese, French, German, British, American, Soviet, and Japan. Japan has very few at the minute. China hasn't got that many more. I haven't got any tanks in either of those lines. So let's click on, say, the MX-38. So, you, like with the warships, you have to earn the experience to research the tank and then credits to buy it. And once you've upgraded all of these then you'll have an elite tank. So much the same as well as warships. So there's also Stronghold which is a clan thing. If you're in a clan you there's various other things. And you've got the barracks where your crews go. It gets full rather quickly. and service record. So, basically in World of Tanks you have light tanks, which I don't have any, you have medium tanks, that's the Cromwell or Matilda, then you have the heavy tanks, such as this T-29, then you have tank destroyers. Now some have a turret like this T-67, we have ones like the 82, which are fixed, a more traditional tank destroyer. One nice difference between this at the moment and World of Warships is you get XP for spotting enemies. You get XP now for damage done to the enemies you spot. 
I think. And you get ex you definitely get XP if you track an enemy tank and he takes damage, you get XP for that as well. Now, ammunition. At the minute, there's one big difference between this and World of Warships is that you get premium ammunition. Now, depending on the tank, it can be a bit of a game breaker, I feel. So basically, on most tanks you'll get APCR or similar and this will give you massive increase in penetration. It does vary, some tanks it doesn't vary quite so much. But basically what's this, what this means is that any tier, tank your tier will go probably be able to go through your armour if you use premium ammunition, even if you're in the heaviest armour armor tank. There are a few exceptions and it does vary but people who play the game often pick tanks which they can which get this ridiculous penetration increase but not all do so on the T29 it's not such a massive increase but it's enough you get up to 248 penetration up to 400 damage, same damage, it can get increased damage, it does depend on the premium ammunition, there are different types. With uh, premium ammunition you get up to 306 penetration and that's enough to go through most things. But that's not a, uh, there are tanks which get a much greater increase. Unfortunately one trend has been for premium tanks, which like weather warships you can train up your crew but they have to be the same sort of tank not just the same nationality so there was quite a few premium tanks which get matchmaking so they can only meet one tier higher than them instead of the normal two tiers but now and those tanks would often had rubbish guns so they really couldn't compete but now that's being phased out or seems to be and we're getting tanks not so much like this Churchill 3 but they get rubbish penetration with their normal ammunition and they get a lot better with the premium so yeah here we are 138 prim penetration up to your normal ammo APCR up to 225 so that's a big difference it seems to be to get um, people to buy premium ammo. So you can buy it with, let's go to here, so you can buy it with credits or gold. But if you buy it with credits, you'll quickly run out of money, particularly if you're on a free to play account. So you can see the difference in cost. So basically, on a free to play cost, free to play account, you really have to limit yourself to only those times when you cannot penetrate any other way so it's always a good idea to carry a few around but of course some people who can use gold or buy credits can just spam them and this often means your armor is useless which is a shame so hopefully that won't come into world of warships so let's have a quick game in Let's see. So a quick game. In, well, don't often get a quick game in the Matilda because it's quite slow. But let's have a game in that. So matchmaking is a lot more noticeable in this than in World of Warships. If you get in a high tier match, let's say this Matilda, it's not too bad, but your armor is worthless. There's a big difference. So this is a good matchup. I've actually got a tier 4 match. A lot of these can't even penetrate my armour. It's quite a rare matchup actually. So the Matilda is a good all round armoured, high penetration, fast firing but low damage gun. It's possibly a bit overpowered. Oh, I don't like this one. Not playing World of Warships, don't need to tap. Let me speak. To 
So like in World of Warship, angling armour is important. Although some some tanks have no armour to speak of. It really doesn't make a great deal of difference, but this definitely does. So I've actually got no premium on this as its penetration is pretty good. So I'd like to get rid of that, oh that's good, this is one of the few things that can penetrate us. I don't think he can. We've so damaged just them. Sit there. We've lost the crack. We're stuck here. Enemy armor is hit. Penetration. It's possibly artillery. Enemy armor is hit. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Penetration. Enemy armor is damaged. We didn't even scratch them! We've damaged them! Enemy vehicle destroyed! So this thing probably can hurt us. It's sort of a hybrid artillery light tank that was just given away as a free vehicle. Enemy armor is damaged! Crack hit! Penetration! So this is quite an overpower tank, but you rarely get this nice matchup. So there's another Matilda. So we need to concentrate on him. Particularly while he's firing at something else. Enemy armor is damaged. Enemy armor is hit. Let's make sure of him. That one didn't go through. We are injured. We've damaged them. Observation device took a hit. We can only shoot. Got him. So the Hetzer is a horrible tank. Another possibly over overpowered tank. No, it has a derp gun which uses high explosive. I'm not sure who's using it though. High explosive doesn't need penetration. Though it doesn't penetrate angle surfaces very well. Enemy armor is damaged. Enemy armor destroyed. Penetration. Enemy armor is hit. Enemy is hit. We didn't penetrate their armor. We didn't even scratch them. We've damaged them. So let's just kill him now before we reload. Penetration. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Now unfortunately we've got to get a long distance and this tank is extremely slow which is its main weakness. So let's repair. Oh, use the repair. So is it. Let's heal our gunner. Oh, we've got top gun. That's nice. But in this sort of matchup, it is a very overpowered tank, really. And that Hetzer might not have been using his derp gun, which is foolish. And would have been a danger to us. Thank you. Got him. So let's just swerve a little bit just in case the artillery is trying to hit us. So 
I don't think I'm going to get there in time. Perhaps I'll go down here, let's see. I think he could one-shot us, it has a big gun, the M37. Oh, we're so slow, come on, get us another kill. No. So, there we go. That's a world of tanks. And a bit of an overpowered tank, it must be said. So it's good. It's definitely a fun game. I think it's a bit spoiled by the premium ammunition at times. So I completed a medium mission. Which is one of the fairly new things. If you can complete all these missions, then you can get a special tank. And there's four special tanks to earn, but it takes a lot. And these are sort of the normal missions you can get as well, a bit like the World of Warship ones, so like kill so many people this week or something like that for extra experience. So that's a nice game. High caliber, steel wall, and top gun, and mastery. So uh, strange I didn't have that already. I think this is one of the f my first tanks and I didn't really know how to play. So bye bye for now. Anyway, and I'll see you again next time.